Hello everyone! We've all encountered the dreadful problem of a cracked nail at least once. If you don't know how to deal with it, you might end up without a nail altogether. Today, I'll show you how to quickly, reliably and safely fix a crack. Plus, we'll create a textured design and I'll share some tips on how to save money on materials. Let's go! Here are our hands covered for more than a month and during wear, we have a crack on the middle fingernail. This is a rather frequent occurrence for those who love to wear the same nail polish for a long time, so it's important to update our beauty in a timely manner. So we remove the coating, take a blue nail drill bit if you are already an experienced master, it will be faster. But if you are a beginner, it is better to take a drill bit with a red notch. On this nail, we have cracks on both sides, right to the flesh. So in this case, we work very carefully so that the drill bit does not catch the crack and tear the nail even more. To ensure our work is perfect, you need to start with a clean manicure. And for this, you need to properly open the cuticle. This will allow us to work effectively with the electric file. Next, lift the nail scales using a 180 grit file. On the nail with cracks, do not try to remove all the material with the drill as it is risky. Remove the majority of it and then refine the rest with a file. This approach will be more comfortable and will reduce the risk of further nail trauma. Of course, the risk of catching the same file is not zero, so work carefully and avoid sudden movements. After filing, use cuticle nippers to remove the tails of the cracks as much as possible to prevent future coating breakage. Why as much as possible? Because there are such cracks that the nippers simply have nothing to grab onto, then the work scheme will be completely different. It's also important to remove all lifting around the cracks, otherwise all the work will be in vain, as the lifting can spread further and may even lead to a fungal infection. With cuticle drill bits, the same picture as with removal, if you have experience working, you can take a drill bit with a blue marking, but for a beginner, I recommend taking a red drill bit. Thoroughly clean the sinuses and the space under the cuticle, removing all pterygium so that it doesn't interfere with our work. If it remains there, it will lead to 100% flow, which will later cause material lifting. Let's move on to cuticle trimming. If you've done the previous steps correctly, there shouldn't be any problems now. But if you feel that the scissors are stalling, perhaps you haven't fully opened the pocket or there is still pterygium there. Moving on to the liquids, at this stage, degrease the plate well and remove the dust as this is another key point responsible for the durability of the coating. Then apply dehydrator and ultra bond. Since we will be working with hard materials on cracked nails, the base coat should be flexible. Choose a flexible base with good adhesive properties and apply it to the nails in a thin layer to avoid chemical and thermal burns. After applying, cure in the lamp for one minute. To repair the crack, use the hardest material available such as dense builder gel or like I use gel jelly. There are also solid gels with fibers. To expedite the process, I recommend using gel jelly. Apply a good layer of it to cover most of the nail and the areas with cracks to seal all the empty spaces. Polygel can also be used in such cases, but keep in mind that it is much softer than builder gel or gel jelly. After curing, remove the sticky layer and file the surface and shape. For this, the same 180 grit file is suitable. It is important not to tilt the file so that there are no arc-like movements because otherwise the nail will turn out uneven. Also make sure not to overfile the growth points and not to remove the sidewalls because this can cause onychalysis and of course the same cracks as the lateral parallels act as our rigidity ribs. After filing, remove all the dust and you can proceed to apply color, vice or gel. Here, it's up to your preference. You can additionally strengthen the nails with liquid polygel. To get an even coating, first completely coat the plate. This will make it much easier to distribute the main bulk of the material over the nail. 
However, be careful to minimize the amount of solid material near the cuticle. After you have coated the entire nail, take a small drop of gel on the brush, eat, place it near the cuticle and distribute it across the nail, pulling it towards the center to the apex area. The apex is the highest point on the nail and our center of gravity. Also, don't forget to flip the finger for a few seconds so that the material distributes, after which flip the hand back and look at the shine. If it is even, you can dry it in the lamp. The main thing is not to overdo it with the amount of material because the nails will look unnatural and seem rough. After curing, be sure to remove the sticky layer as it's quite pronounced in gels and may conflict with the next layer of material, whether it's a top coat or color. For our design, we're covering the nails with a matte top coat. But I'll emphasize again that matte top coat really doesn't like sticky layers, so it's crucial to remove it completely. It is better to dry the matte top coat in two stages, dry it for a minute, then take out the hand so that the top coat cools down and again dry it for a minute in the lamp, so the top coat will be more velvety. For the design, we'll need spider webs. I think spider webs always make for the fastest and most minimalist designs, which are always in trend. So, don't overthink it too much. Stretch out the spider web and let it fall onto the nail naturally. The web should also be dried longer as it contains a lot of black pigment. In my case, it took one and a half minutes. As promised, here's a life hack on how to save money. Textured plaster designs are very fashionable now, and buying many jars of different colors will be expensive and you are unlikely to use them all. So if you need to create a plaster texture, mix a drop of any color paint with acrylic powder. It will be the same, only you won't throw away a lot of money on something you won't use up. And another plus of this life hack is that you can create any consistency depending on what texture you prefer, thicker or more liquid. Thus, you can save a lot of money. You can apply the texture with anything, a brush, a stick or a silicone pusher. Using a brush will give you softer textures while an orange stick will create a more voluminous texture. By the way, with the stick you can even create beautiful flowers which is quite timely now. At the end, use a file to either square off the corners or round them depending on your preference or the client's request. Don't forget to brush off the dust and moisturize the cuticles with oil, cream or paraffin. But try not to get it on the coating, so you don't have to wipe anything extra later. And here is what we got. We have repaired the nail and now the girl will not be bothered by cracks. Dear ladies, try not to miss the correction and not to delay to ensure your nails stay healthy and always look great without causing any discomfort. I also recommend that you watch the video where we restore the square shape of the nails using dual forms. The video is now on the screen. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it was useful for you and I'll say goodbye to you for now. Bye bye beauties.